Hi, Greg with A&A Masonry. Again, you can see I'm on another location. This happens to be a repeat customer of a, a Masonry. Last time we were here a couple of years ago, we had to do some foundation restoration work. We had to do some waterproofing, stuff that really isn't that exciting, but definitely needs to get done if you're gonna protect and secure the home. Today, the homeowners called us back to do something new and slightly revolutionary in the masonry residential market, and that is called Liquistone. a and a Masonry an award-winning company servicing the greater Toronto area and the Golden Horseshoe. Okay, here we're at the side of the house. This house is a block foundation with concrete brick. Pretty standard, typical for that time that it was built. Now, I don't know if you can see, but up close, there are hairline cracks in the mortar. There's some hairline cracks in the brick, the, the, the block joints. So the typical and most common repair would be to grind those joints out, repoint them with mortar, or parge the foundation with a layer of cement, and essentially try to protect further decay and erosion from weathering onto the material. Well, now we have a new solution, a much better solution, a more commercialized solution that has now made its way through a a masonry into the residential market. Again, it's called Liquistone, and it's a water-based acrylic sealant that once we do the masonry work and fix ups and, and, and repairs, we will then apply this liquid coating onto the masonry products here, and it'll be protected for decades to come. The first thing that the crew need to get done is to ensure that the masonry surface of the home is fully cleared of any debris. This is not a short, quick task, as the surfaces need to have every piece of dirt, holes, screws, nails, etc fully removed before embarking on applying the liquid stone to the home. The first part of this is to power wash the home. The crew set up the machines and equipment necessary to get this done. The power wash gets done by spraying the home. It is sometimes recommended to use a lower pressure when washing the exterior brick. Pressure washing using 500 to 1000 PSI can be common for cleaning masonry. Some contractors can typically use anywhere up to 1500 PSI to avoid damage. The ranges of PSI above that can still be found to be used, but that's for very experienced pressure washers only. The crews at ANA are very experienced and the safety and structural integrity of the masonry products on your home are always their prime concern. It is very important for the crew to take their time to make sure that every possible surface of the masonry on the home is fully power washed and clear of any possible debris. Once the masonry sections of the exterior of the home are fully power washed, it's time to move on to the next step of this process. Okay, on this part of the house and actually around the entire house, we're taking out all the anchors, which would clip on for cable and wires as such over the, the lifespan of the house. Now, when you do that, you have holes in there. Now, if you've ever experienced ants or insects that are getting through the masonry, that's just one typical way on how they can get through there. So once we fill those in with a little bit of mortar and seal it with liquid stone, one coat, two coat, that's going to be impenetrable for not only the rain and the insects as well. The nice thing about liquid stone is this homeowner is going to be able to choose whatever color they desire and it's going to completely transform the entire aesthetic look of the house. So we talk a lot about water management, the effects of water, the cost to repair water damaged bricks, masonry, concrete foundations. This was the job prior. You can see where we did the waterproofing. This crack was already here. It was already sealed up and fixed by the prior homeowner, but they were still getting water below the ground. So we had to excavate. We had to repair the foundation and then give it a proper waterproofing solution, bringing it right up to code. This will not receive water any, more, any longer into the house, but now we have to deal with the above grade, which is the block work, the masonry, and we do that with liquid stone. The next step that the crew take are to patch up any holes and get any needed brick tuck pointing done, as Greg mentioned, while at the same time they are also cutting in the liquid stone as the first step of the application procedure. Cutting in is a painting technique that is used when painting tight areas such as walls, corners, around window and door frames, etc. Basically anywhere that a roller can't quite get into. Applying liquid stone is no different. It needs to be cut in as well. 
Once all the tight areas of the masonry around the home are fully cut in, the crew starts to apply the first coat of Liquistone on the bricks. As you can see, the rolling of the Liquistone on the bricks requires the proper time taken to make sure the Liquistone fully covers all areas. As the bricks are porous, the crew really need to take the time to fully make sure that all possible surfaces are fully covered with Liquistone. This is very important to maintain maximum protection of the masonry and have a job that will last decades. Hi, okay, we're here at our second stage with liquid stone. On this house here, you can see the original brickwork, which is very porous. Liquid stone is applied. Again, it's a water-based acrylic. It gets absorbed into the brickwork. It seals it from water penetrating from the outside, but it also allows the brickwork masonry to breathe naturally. So there's not gonna be any blistering, any bubbling that you would commonly get with uh, a masonry, a typical masonry paint. And it also is gonna beautify because this homeowner chose a color and I'm just looking around the neighborhood here and I can see that there's similar homes that are trying to transition from an older style to a more modern contemporary style. So it's gonna look good, it's gonna protect the masonry for years and decades to come, and we're never gonna to have to come back and start doing typical masonry repair like tuck pointing or parging, because this product, which is exclusively uh, available through a a Masonry, uh, on a commercial level is now brought to the residential uh, level, but it's gonna be able, we're gonna be able to seal it so we don't have to deal with those expensive repairs year after year. Okay. On this particular part of the house, this is a typical masonry repair problem that we deal with time and time again. Originally, they had a coping on top of the shoulders, the side parts of a chimney, flat surface. So the water, the rainwater would hit the surface, stay there in the wintertime, freezing, thawing. It causes cracks in the mortar. It causes damage to the brickwork, and it's actually trapping water. So we need to do the repair. We took the copings off. I've asked the masons to take these concrete bricks. They're gonna cut them at an angle, which once they lay those bricks and then reset the copings, it's gonna have a degree on which for gravity to pull the surface water away from the chimney shoulder and eliminating any chance of masonry damage. We also have to deal with the water cracks uh, that were done on the brickwork and also the mortar joints. We're gonna tuck point, we're gonna repair this brick and we're gonna finalize it and seal it with a couple coats of liquid stone. It's gonna look great. It's gonna transition again the whole look of the house, but it's more of a permanent solution in this case. So we don't have to come back year after year and do these kind of services and expensive repairs. Let's let the masons get to work. Let's see it when it's all done. I know it's gonna look great. It's gonna be the number one house in the neighborhood. The final step that the crew take is to apply the second coat of liquid stone to the home. You can see here with the second coat applied that it has an even look to it now. Not only does it change the bricks from that dated look giving them a brand new appearance but also protecting them from weather damage for decades to come. Also with no more cracks or holes in the masonry it also becomes impossible for insects and other problematic situations to enter the home. At the same time you can see that the various devices Pipes, windowsills, porch, etc. were kept clean and precisely cut in, creating a very professional look to the home. Also, you can see here the contrast between the bricks before and after, showing a much improved aesthetic appearance, as well as the protection the liquid stone provides for the bricks. And as well, the color was the one selected to match and blend in with the other homes in the neighborhood therefore making liquid stone the star of the show in this video and here is the job complete with the home looking beautiful and protected to last a long long time so if you care for your home and if you want to get the right solution for your bricks or masonry make sure that you call the professionals at a a and let them get to work for you to make your home safe and looking great from here on out to schedule your next project, contact a, a Masonry today.